Hey, welcome to Echoes of Eternity Bourbon. I'm Sean. Today we got the Fighting 69th on St. Patrick's Day. Let's see what we got. So, in honor of St. Patrick's Day today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I generally do bourbons, um, but today I'm going to do an Irish whiskey, uh, which is kind of, you know, the start of how we started doing bourbons here in the United States. Just always remember, all bourbons are whiskey, but not all whiskeys are bourbon. So, Fighting 69th, I happen to run across this at my mistress. Uh, anyone that follows the channels and some things I do is my mistress is the bottle shop in Columbus, Georgia. Uh, they do a great job of getting in a lot of different barrel picks and things like that. So you're always going to get something just a little bit different than you would a normal bottle. Uh, their staff there does a great job. Um, I've been very impressed with what they do, but they actually did a collaboration on this bottle. Um, this bottle right here was a collaboration between uh, the bottle shop Ignotic, which is a local restaurant. I think they titled this the Booze Brothers. Yeah, the Booze Brothers on this. Uh, so they only have a certain amount of bottles there. Um, I like to try something new and I thought it'd be an awesome thing to do. So the Fighting 69th, this is, there's an interesting history behind the Fighting 69th. Um, it's an actual uh, regimen in, in New York. It started in 1849 and is still active today. Um, there's more of a National Guard type of regiment right now, but they were involved in, you know, Civil War, World War One, World War II, all the way up into Iraq. Um, their presence was in a, in a lot of wars. Um, they uh, were made up of, predominantly at the time uh, when they started this, were Irish American, which is, is a nice thing for St. Patrick's Day and also uh, the Irish whiskey here. Um, when they started in New York, um, as, as an Irish uh, group, um, you know, they, they were trying to do a lot of things at first. They were, you know, getting, had a lot of issues with the British in the 1800s. Uh, they let a lot of them left Ireland, came to the U.S., started a regiment, figure maybe they'd be able to, uh, to help uh, Ireland eventually. Um, but then, you know, home became, the United States became America. Uh, and eventually they were actually called into war uh, during the Civil War. Um, you know, their, uh, their motto is, is uh, gentle when stroked, uh, fierce when provoked, I believe is what it is. Yeah. Gentle when stroked, fierce when provoked. Basically means that they're, they're kind until you really uh, push into them and then they're going to let you have it. Um, they actually got their name, uh, the Fighting 69th, by General Lee um, during the Civil War. Um, the Fighting 69th fought so hard against the Louisiana Tigers and pushed them off the battlefield that General Lee uh, was just very impressed with this group out of New York. Um, so interesting history bit there. Um, there also was some history too that eventually these two uh, combatants during the Civil War actually fought together during World War I. Um, the Louisiana Tigers and the Fighting 69th fought side by side you know, 60 years later or 50 plus years later during World War One, So some neat, neat history there. Um, this was also the group that if there was anything absurd or uh, crazy that needed to be done, they called them to do it. Um, so some little bit of history on, on the Fighting 69th. They're still active today. Um, interesting group, interesting history. Um, very proud of what they, what they do. Um, and also, any anytime someone purchases one of these bottles, a uh, dollar towards one of these bottles actually goes to preserve the history of the Fighting 69th. So, with all that being said, let's uh, let's give it a taste and see what we have. Kind of get honey in color, getting some pear in here, a little bit of caramel. Uh, it's not overpowering on the nose. This is only 80 proof, and I know by my history I'm a kind of a proof snob, so forgive me on that. I, I like the heavier proof, but let's get.
give it a taste, see what we got. Wow, we get a lot of the pear in there. Even for 80 proof, you're getting a little bit of the burn in there. Get some maybe tea <clears throat> on the back. With this being 80 proof, this is very drinkable. You get good flavors through it. Get some pear, get some honey. A little bit of butterscotch in here. <clears throat> and for me, this is a very easy, easy drinker. Um, so this is something that I could drink a lot of and probably get myself into trouble with. But uh, it's not overpowering. Not a super long finish, but a good finish on it. All in all, I think this is a good whiskey. Um, it's a little bit different than some of the whiskeys that you get for American whiskeys. Irish whiskeys tend to be different. But this is very smooth. It's got very good flavor. Very easy to drink. Um, I would, uh, I'm happy that I bought this bottle and this bottle will be maybe a little bit different than some of the other Finding 69s because this was selected by two different groups. Um, so it may have a little different flavor profile, but, uh, all that said, I hope you all have uh, an amazing day, a happy St. Patrick's day and, uh, salute to the Fighting 69s. Thank you.